2016 McLaren 570S vs 2016 Porsche 911 GT3 RS, respiration strategies up in the thin air of the supercar class. In the higher reaches of the performance market, where the horses are already pretty much exercised strictly for pleasure, turbos have invaded. They are here not to offset shrinkage alone, but to also push up power outputs to levels formerly seen only in racing. Take our Sherbet Orange McLaren 570S as an example. The 3.8-liter twin-turbo V8 of the new entry-level McLaren, base price of $187,400, makes 562 horsepower, enough to win Le Mans outright once upon a time. McLaren pulls 666 horsepower from this exact same displacement in the pricier 675LT. And the company's hearty embrace of compressors surely scared Ferrari into adopting turbos for its own V8S, lest it become the brand of poverty power. Standing as something of a rock against the encroaching tide is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Its 4.0-liter flat six inhales exactly what a planet with an iron core big enough to give compressive weight to ethereal gas molecules can give it which is adequate enough to allow the Porsche to make 500 horsepower. That may not sound like much in these silly days, what with a 1,500 horsepower Bugatti on the auto show circuit, but it is a lot from a six-pot engine with no induction help. Not a direct competitor to the mid-engine McLaren, which is an extravagant peacock of a machine with a transparent engine cover and batwing doors slashed with black carbon fiber lances. The GT3 RS is a peculiar vehicle with a specific task. Carrying a base price of $177,950, it is optimized for the track and is the closest thing you can get to a Porsche Cup car with a license plate. Or, in this case, a license plate plus carbon ceramic brakes, $9,210, a front axle lift system, $3,490, leather upholstery, $3,480, lava orange paint, $3,140, and some other plums off the rich Porsche option tree that raised the price to $204,160. The McLaren is optioned as well, to $218,030, including carbon ceramic brake rotors, a luxury pack with power seats and a 12-speaker Bowers and Wilkins stereo, and the aforementioned sure but paint. It's $4,150 price buying a couple of graded BMWs worth of metal flake. At this level of jousting purebreds, is natural aspiration still relevant or are turbos now necessary to make us hyperventilate? We took to the roads in the cheapest McLaren in one of the most expensive 911s, and also enlisted Central California's Button Willow Raceway Park to reach an answer. It was a very tough call. Call.